Hi everybody, welcome to Destiny 2. <laughs> now, you may be saying, well, wait a minute Rob, what's this, Destiny 2? You, you don't you don't play Destiny 2, and this is quite an old game, and it's a science fiction shooter, and you're not known for uh, for playing those. Well, that's it's because I'm actually playing this on my old laptop. Well, I say my old laptop, it's the only laptop I've got, but it's old, it's about five years old. And it was never a gaming laptop when I got it anyway, it doesn't even have a dedicated graphics processor it's just got an onboard so even when it was new it couldn't play couldn't play games anywhere near this but a um, service from Nvidia called GE Force Nail that's GE Force one word uh, now has just come out of beta and you can try it for free um, and Destiny 2 happens to be free to play if you didn't know already um, and the way that GeForce or GeForce Now, I should call it, works is that in effect, you're um, renting a computer from Nvidia, which they host in their servers, um, and then you're playing your games that you own on, like Steam or, I guess, Bethesda's um, uh, service or UPlay or all those sort of services and you're, you're playing those games through through a rented computer of them I guess it's a server really however at the, at the moment there's a free version that you can try out um, so what you do is if you just do a search for GeForce Now G-E-F-O-R-C-E -E, uh, space now on Google um, you'll get taken to Nvidia's website and you can download the app for your phone your laptop your PC I don't I think there's one for Mac but I don't think there's one for iOS um, and then in that app you then look for games that you own on Steam um, or other services and then when you click play it links up with those services and you then um, you can then play them um, and I guess in effect you're kind of playing it through like a web browser but I have to say I have been very impressed with how snappy it is now the other thing is I'm actually playing this on a wireless connection um, my old lap well my laptop has kind of been giving me a bit of it's got some sort of problem at the moment where the LAN, LAN connection um, breaks just stops working after a few minutes and you, you it only goes to wireless so I'm playing this over a wireless connection to a home um, internet so yeah, it it seems pretty cool. So I would say, you know, check it out. As it, you can play, to, you can go to Steam. You know, open a Steam account. You can stop. You can like um, buy in inverted commas Destiny um, Two because it's free to play. And then you can use the G G Force Now um, program on your laptop to check it out. Now, I've, what I've done is I've got my um, Xbox One controller connected to my laptop via a USB, so I'm actually playing by that, not um, not mouse and keyboard or anything like that. And what I'm hoping to do is hopefully over the next few weeks, maybe depending if they come in the Steam sale or not, maybe do some testing with some some other games. Um, typically, games that you don't normally get on consoles, maybe things like um, Armor. Uh, in particular, um, or if they go cheap, we'll try the try the PC versions of like DayZ and things like that, because uh, this is quite quite exciting. So as I say, I was very sceptical about whether stream uh, services would actually be any good. I mean, there's been a lot of information, a lot of um, talk about Google Stadia, and it's been a bit, you know, crap. <laughs> um, but this, what I really like about this Nvidia offering is the fact that you're playing your games through you know on Steam and these other services um, so it's not like you're buying the games off um, M Nvidia and then risking the fact that if, N if Nvidia shut the service down you then don't have access to your games anymore because you will because it's all done through Steam or Uplay and all that sort of stuff so there we go anyway I'll put the links in the description down below and uh, yeah, I don't know. Check it out. Um, it seems uh, fascinating as it's free. You know, this could be the shape maybe of things to come for uh, campaigns. And I don't think it will be that good for PvP because of you know lag and latency and things. But 
you know, who knows? Who knows? There we go. 